Finding Christie's body has been a painful process for her family, who just wanted a proper burial. They kept in touch with deputies and finally walked out of the Placer County Sheriff's Office with their goal accomplished. Today I have the peace that we are so deserving of as a family and that I know Christy would want us to have. Debbie Boyd's tenacity brought her daughter home. When time passed, she never wore down. She kept asking questions and making the follow-ups. I never lost hope. I never did. The search spanned roughly 15 years, and it crossed cities and counties with no luck. But last week, new technology and a tip gave detectives the lead they needed. Searching for Christy was, one of the investigators said, was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But everything's the haystack. A ground-penetrating radar detected her body on her killer's property, four and a half acres in Auburn. Doctors confirmed it was Christy through dental records. Mario Garcia was found guilty in her murder back in 2007 and has never cooperated in the case, even after Christie's mom tried to meet with him and make a personal plea. The day he decided that he was going to reach out and try to um, use my daughter's body as a bargaining chip was the day I said absolutely not. The discovery of Christie's body does not change Garcia's case, but the Placer County District Attorney says it brings validation to the jury that put him away. They got it right, and they knew it, and we all knew it, and today, even Mr. Garcia knows it. And now, Christie's family can rest. I have hoped and prayed for this day for so, so long, and although bittersweet, it is a happy day. The sheriff's office would not say who gave them the tip that led to Christie's body, but now her family can hold a proper funeral service.